Hi, I'm Paul LaFever, the real software developer evangelist. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a simple web application using Real Studio. Okay, so here's the finished Map Viewer application running inside of Safari. Let me show you how it works. You enter an address in the location field. Let's use the White House. You click the Show Map button and the map changes to the White House location. You can use the controls here on the map to zoom right in. And you can verify that yes indeed that is the White House. So the app is pretty simple. Let me show you how to create it using Real Studio. At the Real Studio New Project dialog, select Web and click the Choose button. Real Studio opens up with a default web page. Here is where you're going to lay out the user interface for the Map Viewer application. So I'm going to start dragging the controls that I need onto the page. I'll start with the label. You'll notice as I drag controls around, these guides appear to help me make sure that everything is aligned properly. I need a text field that will be used to enter the location. This will be the Show Map button. And then lastly, I need the Map Viewer control to actually display the map. Now I'm going to resize the controls to make better use of the available space on the page. There, everything is aligned pretty nicely. Now I'm going to set the caption and text for the label and the button. The label should simply say location and the button's caption should be show map. There, that layout looks like what I showed in the original application. But one thing to note is when the page resizes, the controls are not also resizing. So let me fix that. To have a control stay attached to the side of the page as the page size changes, you use the locking properties of the control. In the case of the map viewer, we want to lock it to the right and the bottom so that it continues to fill as much of the page as possible. I want the button to stay attached to the right hand side of the page, but not the left, which will cause it to stretch. However, I do want the text field to be attached to both the left and the right so that its size increases. You can see how this works by adjusting the size of the page right here inside Real Studio. Everything seems to line up much better now. I almost forgot. Let's give the page itself a name. The title should simply be Map Viewer. I'm going to run the project so I can see how this looks. This looks pretty complete, doesn't it? Unfortunately, the app doesn't actually do anything. If you click the Show Map button after entering a location, you'll see that the map doesn't actually change. Well, why is this? Well, this is because we haven't actually told the application to do anything yet. Real Studio applications are event-based. In this particular application, the event we are most concerned with is when the Show Map button is clicked. This will trigger an event. What we want to do in this event is get the location and tell the map to display that location. Let me show you how to do that in Real Studio. Now before I get too far along, there are a couple things I want to point out. First of all, you'll notice that I'm using Real Studio on OS X. If you are following along using Windows or Linux, you'll find that everything looks pretty much the same. And next, before I begin writing any code, I'm going to want to rename some of the controls so that it's easy to refer to them in the code. In particular, the text field, the button, and the map viewer all have default names that aren't very clear as to their purpose. 
I'm going to change the text field and call it location field. The button I will call show map button. And the map viewer I will call location map. Now when I write my code, I can use these more descriptive names to refer to the controls. I already mentioned that we want to have the location be displayed in the map when the user clicks the show map button. Let's double click on the show map button so we can see the events that are available. Right here are the list of all the events available to the show map button. When the button is clicked, the action event is the event that is called by Real Studio. You might be wondering why this is called action instead of say clicked. Well that's because there are other ways to activate a button besides clicking on it. If this web application were running on a touch device for example, the user may just tap on the button. Or if you're running on Windows, it is possible to navigate through the web page using the keyboard. So we're going to write some code here in this action event to get the location and tell the map viewer to display that location. So first, to get the location, I'm going to create a new variable. I will call it simply location. And its type will be that of a class called Web Map Location. This is a Real Studio Framework class, one of many which you can find in the language reference. And this particular one is used to create a location that the map viewer can display. I do this by setting the address property of this location to be what the user typed in the location field. Location field is the name of the control, and text is the name of the property that will contain the text the user typed. Now I need to tell the map viewer to actually display this location. I do that by calling the goToLocation method on the location map control, and I pass the location that I just created above. Additionally, I can drop a pin on this location by calling the add location method. And that's it for the code. Let me run the project so I can test it out. I'm going to try a different location in honor of baseball season. And you can see our application worked. The map was relocated to Boston, Massachusetts. And if I zoom in a bit, I should be able to see Fenway Park. And there it is. I'm going to go back to Real Studio and save my project. As you can see, creating a web application in Real Studio is really quite simple. And don't forget, Real Studio can also create desktop applications just as simply as web applications. To learn more about Real Studio, head on over to realsoftware.com and download a trial, take a look at our quick starts and tutorials. I'm Paula Fever, the Real Software Developer Evangelist. Thanks for watching.